So picture this, it's a Sunday afternoon and you've just had a fabulous weekend and then it starts to happen. You know that dread, that feeling in your stomach, in your gut, that you're starting to realize that tomorrow's Monday and you've got to go back to work to a job that if you had the time and money freedom, you just wouldn't do? Well, by starting my online business, I've been able to achieve this freedom. You see, I know plenty of people that make a lot of money, but there's a trade-off because for most people to make more money, the only way to do that is to work longer hours. But when you do that, there's less time for other things. And that usually means less time for your family and other important relationships. And so as I've observed others and I've gotten older, I began to question more and more this model. And I guess in effect, I've been on a search for something that would help me create that ideal life, where I had plenty of money without having to give up more and more of my time. Well, here's my story. I'm Philip Robertson, and I was that guy the typical type A personality. I dropped out of uni several times, but I still wanted the nice things in life. So I looked around and at my options and soon realized that there were lots of people making really good money in sales. It was around this time, 1996, that my father-in-law gave me a set of tapes. Yeah, they were cassettes back then, called Personal Power, a 30-day transformation by Anthony Robbins. And so every morning before I went to work, I would listen to one of the cassettes and do the daily exercises. Well, to say the least, I was hooked. Tony Robbins had lit a fire in me and before I knew it, I'd enrolled in his Unleash the Power Within course. And off I went to Sydney, and yes, I did Tony's famous firewalk, which he says is a metaphor for facing our fears. From that time on, I was on a path to self-discovery and continued to listen to and read the likes of Jim Rohn, Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Zig Ziglar, Earl Nightingale, and many others. Fast forward to January 2001, and I'd made a switch from a traditional sales role of a base and commission to mortgage broking, where for the first time I was self-employed to what I had, what I thought I had, would give me more time and money freedom. I was now building a trailing or passive income, and so as my loan book grew, so did my passive income. Like my previous sales roles, I, I went on to win a number of industry awards, and as the years ticked by and my business was thriving, and with a family and two young boys, I had what I thought was success. Then a little thing called the GFC, the Global Financial Crisis, comes along in 2007 and turned my financial world upside down, where almost overnight my revenue dropped 75%, but my fixed costs remain the same. You probably know what I mean. I'd been making more money and taking on more debt along the way. I'd just bought a house, had two luxury cars on finance, an office lease and staff costs, but now with only earnings at 25% of where they'd been for several years. I will say this was very stressful for me. I had to make changes and fast, and I was quickly running out of money. And that's when I went into real estate, got my license and began offering investment properties in return for a commission. And it was this that turned things around for me, at least it did financially for a while. Now fast forward again to September 2014, and after a routine visit to my doctor, he tells me that my PSA reading was elevated. PSA is a measure that relates to the prostate. So off I go and I have a biopsy, and a week later I'm on the phone to my surgeon who tells me you have a tumour. So December 16, 2014, I had my prostate removed. And during my recovery, he tells me that I had a fair bit of cancer and that he estimates that without the surgery, I probably had two to five years before I would have been in trouble. So now I really start to examine my life. I've been self-employed 13 years. I've made some good money, but I'm tired. I'm emotionally drained, but I've still got a lot of debt with mortgages, car repayments, private school fees and uh, holidays to pay for. So in order to sustain all this, I find I'm working longer hours, but starting to earn less. My professional life was like a plane taking off, expending massive energy to get up there. And now my income was like a plane descending. It was in a steady decline. It's now 2018 and I'm unhappy. I'm unfulfilled in my work. I'm no longer excited and inspired, but I'm still out there doing courses. And it was when I was enrolling in another real estate course that I clicked on a link to watch a video, much like you're doing right now. And I listened to the story of a 20 year corporate lawyer from Singapore who walked away from that. He went on to say that he had the money but no time and that he now had both freedom with his time and money to do the things that mattered to him. As I listened to him tell his story, I watched him. I could sense he seemed so relaxed, so, well, stress free. So let me ask you, what are you doing right now that's going to afford you the possibility of completely 
transforming your life in the next 12 to 36 months. If you have something, that's great, then do that. But if you have no idea what that thing is, then maybe this could be just for you. You see, time and money is what stops everybody. When is that going to stop stopping you? What's going to change that for you? So what I'm offering you here is the opportunity to put yourself through an experience that's going to challenge you, to deal with the things that have been stopping you from achieving that time and money freedom. So somewhere on this page, you'll find a link for you to register for our free four day video series. And in those videos that I will personally be sending you each day, you'll hear from my mentors, Stuart Ross and Jay Cooperset, where they will explain in detail how that time and money freedom can with some effort soon be a reality. By clicking on the link and then completing an application, you'll be able to see what we've got back there and you'll be able to learn about our community. Now I will tell you the training is intense, but it's been incredible. And the team have just been so supportive to think that just a few short months ago by me following the step-by-step -step training, I've learned how to build a website and build an online business among many new skills. But to me, the best part of joining the SFM community, I can honestly say, is the people you get to mix with who are all striving to be their best selves. I no longer go to a job that I don't like. I'm no longer constrained by a traditional work model. I now work when and where I want on my own terms. I now have that freedom. So if you'd like to see how you can achieve your freedom, click on the link somewhere on this page and I'll see you on the other side.